today we are dealing with another topic of ID HIV agents. So to begin with, as usual, we have the introduction, then the classification of anti HIV agents like the mechanism based classification and the structural classification, followed by how the uh, anti HIV agents act, then few of its adverse effects in certain market formulations, and finally novel anti HIV targets. So to begin with, what are anti HIV agents? The agents which inhibit different enzymes that is involved in life cycle of HIV. These agents will mainly uh, focus on the protein synthesizing uh, assembly of the virus. Uh, that is, they uh, stop the action of few of the enzymes that are involved in the pro protein synthesis. So, next we have is the classification. Uh, anti HIV agents or the anti retroviral agents, as we can say, these. Uh, are classified into two classes that is firstly they are mechanism based uh, classification and we have the structural based classification okay so under uh, mechanism based classification uh, we can say uh, the drugs which are grouped under this classification uh, they show the similar or a specific kind of action that is uh, it depicts the mechanism by which these agents act like uh, for example we have protease inhibitors integrase inhibitors and reverse transcriptase inhibitors the name of this class itself indicates what is their mechanism of action that is which enzyme they will be inhibiting so now next we have the structural classification uh, under structural classification we have two classes nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors and non nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors now uh, this structural classification is based on the um, chemical structure of these uh, compounds uh, like uh, these agents they mimic or they have a similar structure as that of certain nucleoside or nucleotide and therefore they get incorporated into the growing dna chain of the virus uh, during its integration into the host DNA and hence it stops the replication of the um, uh, virus and also it stops the protein synthesis of the viral cells. Now, uh, certain examples of anti HIV agents they include now under the class of uh, nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors, we have zudovudin, lamivudin, stavudin, and uh, many more. Then next we have the non-nucleoside which include uh, nevirapin, ifravenins. Next we have the protease inhibitors like nelfinavir, indinavir, sacfinavir. And next we have the integrase inhibitors like rantegravir, elvitegravir, etc. So to begin with mechanism of action of each class, uh, firstly we have the reverse transcriptase inhibitors. So now uh, as the name suggests, these uh, agents under this category, they inhibit the enzyme reverse transcriptase that is involved in the viral uh, protein synthesis. So now the agents under this class, they are generally uh, divided into two type categories, that is nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors and non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors. Nucleosides uh, are those. Uh, which are generally they are thymidine analogs or we can say these are the analogs of uh, certain nucleosides that is they mimic the nucleoside structure and after the phosphorylation into the host cell it selectively inhibit this reverse transcriptase enzyme. Similar is the case of non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors. Uh, these, these are not related to the uh, any nucleoside structure but they directly inhibit the reverse transcriptase enzyme and uh, there is no need of phosphorylation of these cells for inhibiting the uh, enzyme. Next we have the protease inhibitors. Here as the name suggests, the, uh, these are the enzymes which block the action of the enzyme protease. Now protease is the enzyme which uh, helps in cleaving of large viral polyproteins into small functional components. So what these protease inhibitors or what these agents do is they bind to the enzyme protease that is they bind to the protease molecule and they interfere with this cleaving function of the protease. So we have examples like indinavir, sacrinavir, etc. Next we have is the integrase inhibitors. Uh, as the name suggests, the agents which inhibit the enzyme integrase. Now, integrase is one of the enzymes that is involved in integrating the viral genetic material with that of the host DNA. So, we have examples like raltegravir, invertegravir, etc. This class is uh, actually the newly developed class. Uh, so, uh, here we have very least uh, agents belonging to integrase inhibitor class. So, now uh, 
certain adverse effects which are shown by anti hiv agents or anti retroviral agents usually zigovudin which was the firstly developed uh, anti antiviral agent uh, its toxicity mainly occurs due to partial inhibition of the cellular dna polymerase Uh, then next we have certain uh, common adverse effects like nausea vomiting and abdominal pain is one of the one of the uh, adverse effects shown by all of the uh, all classes of the anti hiv agents then we have certain uh, adverse effects like dizziness numbness rashes etc okay so next we have is the uh, small list of marketed formulations which contain these anti hiv agents like for example we have a uh, nevipan which contains nevirapine and then insavir lamivir ritomax saquin nelfin etc now this is not a such a small limited list we have a number of examples of uh, marketed formulations which contain anti hiv or anti retroviral agents Okay, so next is the uh, novel targets for HIV. Uh, now, since HIV is uh, an emerging virus and uh, is day by day being very fatal, which causes acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, that is AIDS. So, uh, researchers are trying to target some of the new targets by which we can either inhibit the uh, viral replication or we can inhibit the viral protein synthesizing assembly, and ultimately we can kill the virus or eradicate the virus completely from the human beings. so now uh, certain novel targets which includes fusion inhibitors now as the name suggests these fusion inhibitors they inhibit the binding of the virus to that of the host cell membrane and uh, and hence it and hence it stops the replication of the virus next we have is the uh, TGS101. Now, this TGS101 is one of the cellular protein which is involved in the process of budding and hence viral replication. That is, once the virus has entered the host cell, there uh, there occurs viral uh, viral protein synthesis, its maturation, its assembly, and finally the budding. So, by targeting the by targeting the budding protein of the virus, we can stop the viral replication and hence we can uh, overcome the disease. further we can target the viral assembly and the maturation process also we can target certain viral nucleo nucleo capsid proteins etc so by studying the virus and the viral life like life cycle more and more we will come to know about few uh, novel targets uh, on which we can work and hence we can uh, eradicate completely the hiv uh, infection so for more details and for uh, to get more videos and more materials free you can uh, always log on to our website that is www.pharmacopus.com thank you